Digital is not just that tool that you use, it is actually a force that is changing the world. In some ways, every bit as much as climate change or some of the other megatrends that we see. Digital has enabled us to really analyze, understand, uh, but also to frame and map uh, problems and, and challenges such as poverty, inequality, and climate change in ways that we weren't able to do so before. You cannot solve these complex problems with a single sector approach. You need the whole of government, you need the whole of society to deal with these issues together. We have this opportunity to really level the playing field and not just say all lives have equal value, but actually use this amazing tool and this amazing information that comes out of these tools being implemented to actually change how people are doing things. Doing digital means that you're doing what you always did, but you're gonna sprinkle a little bit of technology on it so you can do it faster. But being digital involves more than that. Digitalization is actually the transformation of the business process that you're doing. How does the way you interact and go through your day actually fundamentally change because you've inserted digital technology in it? I would say one of the key problems or challenges coming out of this is the fact that Digital exclusion is rapidly becoming one of the single most important determinants of poverty and inequality. This is all the more concerning because one of the things we're seeing is what might be the dawn or emergence of new forms of poverty, new forms uh, of inequality, made worse by the fact that over time we are seeing what looks like an entrenching of systemic uh, barriers to inclusion, prosperity uh, and well-being. We know that uh, access alone uh, is not sufficient, right? So you, you need to address at the same time the issue of affordability. You need to address issues, issues of tools, and you need to address the issues of uh, skills. The, the reality is there are still about 45% of the population globally without access to connectivity or without internet access. A lot of them are actually living in areas that are covered by infrastructure, but they just can't afford the connectivity or they don't know how to use it. They don't know how to use the devices. They don't have the digital skills necessary. Those who already face challenges in accessing health um, usually are also the same who find themselves on the wrong side of the digital divide. Digital solutions uh, needs to be uh, part and parcel of innovation policy today. So when we talk about innovation policies, they need to be digital by default. 70% of information that is false is retweeted far more, far more frequently than the information that is actually true. And so the growth of that misinformation also is one of the things that's a huge challenge for our entire planet to really grapple with. There isn't really an easy digital fix for just eliminating misinformation. You, you, you can shut accounts down on social media and you can do certain things, but the most important thing is that you're establishing better, more credible channels of truthful information that people will trust. One thing we needed to do, and we have been doing this uh, quite you know, uh, a lot across the board, is to get citizens' involvement, you know, coming up with the solutions. We are in definitely unprecedented territory when it comes to the power of the individual because we have that direct connection. With new technologies, big data, uh, and other innovations, we are able to have a much more fine-grained and focused understanding of problems, which enables us in working with governments in the targeting of their solutions to ensure a much more powerful impact, potentially at least, um, in terms of their uh, investments. We've been working in development for a long time, and we have instituted a number of um, tests in this think, test, replicate sort of model, where we have used data, and that data is anonymized and comes out as data analytics that then gets married with other data that's already in the information system, census data, others. Many of the development questions we have can actually be answered 
without going to the level of personally identifiable information. I think it's an important part of bringing everyone into the fold to figure out when we're going to use data, what for, and providing people with an ability to control what their information is used for that goes to the citizen level. Digital is changing the context in which we're operating. I think there's a tendency sometimes to think that digital is just a, a tool or a gadget that you add onto something and then it just makes it run faster. What we're really understanding is that the rollout of new technologies is changing the context in which development is happening. You want to make sure that technology is benefiting the underserved. You need to consider whether or not you need to actually build something new or does something already exist that you can reuse. Digital transformation also enables the leapfrogging and building on of existing technologies and existing approaches in a way that wasn't earlier possible. We can see people in remote parts of, for example, Mauritania, reaching out to customers or clients in very faraway locations that they themselves may never have been to. I think UNP's job is really to enable that innovation, to enable that core, so that solutions are powered by innovative thoughts, right? ways, means, financing, so that we can achieve our sustainable development goals faster. You know? Some of this has been really brought home by the COVID pandemic, where countries understood that if they had had more digital infrastructure in place, they could have responded in a more uh, timely and effective fashion than they might than they, they were able to. I think the the key crux of it is actually to think about it as a systems problem. If we all want to get here, you know, a better planet, then we have to learn to embrace digital technology and figure out together how we're going to mitigate its harms. I think if the human species is going to get out of this century alive, we are going to have to understand that climate change is an existential threat to the entire world, and worsening inequality is only going to make it worse. Digital is one of the factors or the, the ways that we can actually more effectively address both inequality and climate change. But I think the biggest contribution UNDP can make is really, you know, the collaboration. Collaboration and the collaborative approach to find the solutions together. I actually think it's trust um, and coming together, recognizing that we all are fundamentally the same under the covers. And we really have had this wake-up call in the last 16 months that in this, we're actually all in this planet together.